Welcome back, you absolute bandits. This is the coldest video Woo! we've ever done in our entire life. It is the golf edition of the chase. Looking forward to this one today, people. We are going to have a chaser and, of course, an opponent. It's going to rotate. We're going to start it off by doing a little tee flip. So the person that starts off as challenger will have an advantage as this is going to be over nine holes. How this is going to work is you're going to get five questions. If you get two questions right, that is terrible. That will give the chaser two mulligans to use at any point during the hole. It can be putting, it can be off the tee box, wherever they want. If you get three or four questions right, the chaser will only get one mulligan. If you manage to get a clean sweep, five questions correct out of five, the chaser will get no mulligans. It's going to be a straight up one hole match. If you are the challenger and you win the hole, you get yourself one point. The person with the most points at the end of the entire match is the winner. Should we do the tee flip? Please, flip? please bro, it's minus one. I'm chilly. That is me. That's you. You are. That is an advantage, you are, Tom. That is advantage, Tom. Now, guys, I need to just say this before we do start. Tom has been absolutely smashing it lately. This is going to be my second round of five weeks. This could be that one of the best, best matches we've had, possibly in the, since the Bandits have been up and running. All right, then, Tom. Let's hear them. Stephen, ask away. Ian Poulter was born in which Hertfordshire town, starting with the letter H? I was going to say Hertfordshire, <laughs> not Hartford. Um, Hatfield. No, no, no don't, don't, don't reveal it to the end. Don't reveal it to the end. Don't okay. reveal it to the end. <laughs> How many clubs are allowed in a golf bag? Oh, I should know this. 16? <laughs> <laughs> You're on zero for two, I reckon. Let's have a 14, you donkey. Oh. <laughs> How long was Tiger Woods yeah. partnership with Nike? 27 years. Oh. Come on, I need to get, I need a clean sweep for the last three years. <laughs> what team has been top of the league the most times at Christmas in the last 10 years? Not all golf related. In the last 10 years? Uh, man, no, live Man City. And the last one, how many live golf events are there in a regular season? Oh, I'll tell you what, these, these are, are tough. Hard. These are um, tough, bro. I think I think there was like eight before, but I'm gonna say like twelve. All right, I, I've got him down as I've got him out as two out two of five. Hours. Yeah, that's what I think I'm about. Yep, you've got two out of five. You got Tiger Woods, his Nike partnership, right? Yeah, and then you got the Live one right, right at the end. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. So, how, so where was my importer from? He's from Hitchin. Hitchin, oh. so close. Right. Okay, so I, you've got two. That's bad, isn't it? You've got two mulligans. I've got two mulligans, yeah. He's got two mulligans that's to chase bad. me down. Let's get <laughs> on to You haven't seen me driving lately, buddy. First up then today, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a 472-yard par five. Oh, it's a little left. It's turning a little bit. It might be fairway, as long as it doesn't reach that bunker. I think we're all right there. Oh, uh, yeah, I've just zapped it, mate. 172 yards in between in between the two. <laughs> it's that is actually in between the two. Is it nice? It's a low one. It's Terrible it's, shot. It's coming out right a little bit. That will be fine over there. Not a great shot though. It's all right, mate. You'll find that one. Long way in here. Uh, I'm just going to take seven iron lay up so I don't go in the bunker that's in front of the green. Uh, let's see if we can just keep this one in the fairway. That'll do. That's pretty much as perfect as I could ever ask for it. Came out like a bullet, that one. Love that. Got a long way to go. It's into wind. I'm never getting it from this lie. So I'm just a little, little eight iron. Get her up there. Back in plate. Yeah. I think that's about as good as I can get, really, from there. We'll take it. It is chilly. Not really sure how the ball's going to react when it hits these frozen greens, but got about 130 in here. Uh, see what we can do, eh? Nice shot. Be the number, I think it's going to be big. Oh no! Mate, that's a sublime shot. Stop! It's a really good shot. I think that's pitched maybe like five foot from the hole, but then rolled on quite a bit. So we're going to have a dangerous downhill putt coming up. So I've got it as 125 to the pin. It's very cold underfoot, so I think that I'm going to hit a pitching wedge, not full, and hopefully just kind of let it scurry on up there. Uh-oh, thinned it. That might be mulligan. Yep, we're going to take a mulligan. Oh, 
That might be too far left. Too far left and very long. I don't really want to use my last mulligan here. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I might take that shot, even though it's not the best, and then potentially have to retake that one up there. Don't want to waste it from here. It's very hard, this ground. It's not the worst, not the best though either. So this will be my fifth shot. Failing Tom missing this, I've got two putts of this hopefully. This is like 100% need to get this down in two. If I get it down in one for an instant dub, that would be something else. A little bit worried on the putting green, they were motoring the balls, I won't lie. Stop. Oh my God, look at it, I barely touched it, it's gone a mile past. Oh, that is so devastating. <laughs> it is worth pointing out again, guys. It is like, it's, it's so beautiful here at Mill Green. So thank you once again for them for having us. The greens are like, it's crazy. I said this to Tom when we came, before we came, that the greens here are just like incredible. Given, given the weather we've had in this country lately, it's just, it's unbelievable. Oh, he's going to heart me, isn't he? That is devastating. I just got right. to pick up. There's no point, is there? Well, no, because if you, if you actually, yeah, you can't. You, the best you can do. No good. The half is no good. I'll do it for, I'll do it for the content. Just would I've made the par? That is dev. You are, you are quite the rotten guy. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Mate, everything else about this hole has been absolutely terrible. Yeah, I missed it anyway. <laughs> okay, so that means I've managed to defend it. I did have to use. Two mulligans? I had to use two, wait, two mulligans I used? One mulligan I had to use. Uh, thankfully, this guy's still working. Batter up. Here it's we go. my turn, ladies and gentlemen. I've been exposed already. It's time for a bit of exposure <laughs> for you. Let's hear what the question. Big up are. Luke, by the way. Luke, by the way, is the same guy that's come in clutch with the Who Wants to Be Millionaire questions. He's back again, providing some sublime questions. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, <laughs> what is the longest ever drive recorded in a competition? 447 yards, I reckon. There's no way. Do you have to be exact with that? I'll, get, I'll give it to you within, if it's within 10 yards. Okay, fine, thank you. All right, next up, who sponsors the FA Cup? Emirates, I want to say. Emirates? Is it, is it Barclays FA? No, it's got the. All right, hold on a second. I'm sure it's Emirates. I'm going to say Emirates. I'll say Emirates. What year did Mickelson win his first PGA title? Flipping hell. I'll give it to you if it's in three years of that one. Really? Uh, Phil Mickelson, I'm going to say 1993. According to the makers, what is the most popular flavour of Walker's crisps? Oh my God. You'd think it'd be one of the original three, but people bang on about prawn cocktail, you know. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to say, ready salted seems so basic. I'm gonna say, I'll say ready salted. I was going to say that as well. It'd be cheese and onion, you watch. Yeah, I think it'd be salt and vinegar. Well, you just say oh, half the flipping flavours now we've gone through. I think it's barbecue. <laughs> go on, honest. let's go to see a barbecue room. Dump, floater and wipe are terms used in which sport? Dump, floater Dump, and wipe. Dump, floater and then wipe. I didn't know this was a thing. Dump, <laughs> floater and wipe. It does seem like a toilet Dump, thing. floater and wipe. The thing is, I want to say wipe, I want to say NFL just based off that wipe thing. Dump floater and wipe, but it could easily be something like volleyball. I think I'm going to say dump, floater and wipe. Could it be tennis? I'll go with, I'll go with my instinct. I'll say NFL. All right. All right. You got exactly the same amount as Tom. Two. You got okay. Two. Oh. So you got the Emirates, it was uh, the yeah, Emirates yeah. FA Cup. And then you were within three on Mickelson's first When, 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 when was he? His first one was 1991. 91, okay. So what was the what was the answer to the dump floats for a wife? I think everyone wants to know that. Volleyball. I was Volleyball, okay, yeah. So it. I was around that. That's yeah. never mind. If you said spike, I would have gone for that any day of the week. All right, next up we have got a par three. It's 175 yards, slightly uphill, slightly into the breeze. Oh Jesus. Oh, there's an opening here for the chaser. That, that was a really like, terrible shot. You're getting like summer roll in the middle of winter because of how cold it is. That is absolutely mental. Yeah, something about this tea box, mate, I reckon. Just driving us over towards that bunker. 
I, well, I'm with you, so I'm not going to use my mulligan. You're not? Okay. No. All right. Not, uh, no, not the best position to be in, let's be honest, is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a lot softer. <laughs> that looks really good. Distance wise. It was good distance. It kind of did come out a little bit to the right, but we're on the dance floor. We have made putts from that distance already today. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Do you see that? That's a 54 landed from height and it landed pin eye, literally pin eye and it's gone 30 foot. Wait, actually, to be, to, I'll be totally honest, it landed about 10 foot before and it did scoot on. Right, I don't know if I can do any better, but I feel like one mulligan here is probably worth it for sure. Uh, looks good. Oh, okay. I think it's better than the, fir the first one, that's for sure. Oh, definitely. All right, this is going to break off the right. Let's see what we can do here then. Okay. Right, I don't think I'm going to use a mulligan. I don't want to not back you, but I just don't back you to make that one. He's already made one. He's used up his one time. Okay. Hey, listen, you know what I like more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, is when someone throws down a gauntlet <laughs> to me. Get absolutely nothing here for leaving it short. Nothing for a half. So I've got to win the hole. Well, he's not done it again, sure. Oh, come on. You can have that one. All right, oh. I'll make mine. Yeah, Tom needs to make his. I actually, honest to God, gents, ladies and gentlemen, I thought that was it. I got two attempts at this one as well. You do have two attempts at it, mate. Yeah, well in, mate. Oh, Kevin gnawed it as well. Kevin gnawed it, all square through two. Some terrible tee box shots going on at the moment, but we're actually not doing too bad around the green. I think, I think honestly, what it is, guys, we went to the, we went to the driving range, and because it's just so cold, I think we've got like a slight fear of the fact that we might break our hands. All right, best of luck, mate. Thank you. Right, first up, which auditing company will sponsor the Women's PGA Championship 2023? Wow. Auditing company. It's not going to be bloody Ofsted, is it? That's an <laughs> um, examination. I'll say, I'll say FCS. What country is Victor Hovland from? Norway. What is the area known as between the putting green and the rough? Putting green and the rough? Fringe? Who captained Europe in the last Ryder Cup? Who's the last captain? Oh gosh. Um, I actually know it as well. Give me a second. You do know it. All right, it was going to be Stenson. He couldn't do it. So they gave it to. What the flip? That's so annoying. I see. He, I can see him like going down, talking like to Rory when Rory and that caddy had like a bit of a scuff. God, it's not coming to me. That is devastating. I'm going to have to say. I'm going to have to. Oh, flip, should I just take a guess? I actually don't even have a guess to give. That's so annoying. How many players make the cut at the British Open? Well, I've got no idea. I'm going to say uh, 72. It's probably a field of 72, isn't it's it? Like, it's, like, it's a lot. It's a lot because the, the, the field is massive on the actual day, isn't it? Right. You've got two. Okay. Fine. All right. So two mullies for me. Okay. All that. right. That's all good. So next up, we have got a 365 yard par four SI8. Oh, that is Sit. bent straight from one side of the fairway all the way to the other, and then taking a huge kick left past the bunker. It was actually, so that was, uh, I was playing for a draw, but that was more than a draw. My God, that, was a, that is oh. a thing of beauty, Tom. Thank you. Here we are in the fairway. We've got 115 into the pin. Wind slightly off the right. I think we're just aiming for the centre, really. Mate, such a nice strike. Is it long enough? Oh, my God. Oh, what my God. I mean, I you've swear, been punished. I swear that has landed on an upslope and taken off like a, like a scalded cat. It's gone faster off the back. How the hell no worry, I'll get you a mulligan for you. 
Yeah, cheers, boss. I'll have a mulligan there. Hey, I'll give you two because you might need them. I won't need two. That's you might a bit, do. That's a bit rich. You might need two. I might have to sit as well. That's better. Same result. Exactly the same result. I don't think there's any way I could have held that green, to be honest. Just too cold and frozen. I sadly don't have the luxury of, uh, of mulligans. This ground here, however, is still very firm. The issue with it being firm, for those of you, sometimes people say we, they're new to golf, they don't get why we say, oh, it's an issue. It's because if this club hits the ground first, it could just, it janks, it can go anywhere. That should be a nice shot. Get up. Yeah, I'm yeah, very happy nice with that. Done. Very happy with that Nicely indeed. Done. This is a down slope. I don't like chipping off a down slope when the greens are soft. So I feel like a putt might actually be the best thing for me here. I know it's a little bit wild, but the ground's so hard, so. It's a good shot. Now, do I take, do I think I can make it and take a mulligan? I don't think, because I might mess it up the second time around because I've got a putt through the fringe. So I think, you know what? I think I'll just accept it and just, I just assume Oakley's not going to make that. So I've got to make this to yeah. get a point, right? Indeed. Okay. Well, let's give it a run. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, I gave it a run. You did indeed. Sadly, it didn't make it, but Unlucky mate, you don't get any mate. points for halves. You do not make, make points for halves. Tell you what, it wasn't far off either. All right, first up, the 11th, 12th, and 13th hole for Augusta National are co collectively known by which name? Eamon's Corner. That's so dead, bro. Like, honestly, if I got any of these Augusta questions, I'd be flying. Who was the last Englishman to win the US Open? Um, what's his name? Danny Willett. Which Premier League footballer held an invitational charity golf tournament in, in October 2023? Uh, James Madison. Oh my God, McCusker, you're killing me here, bro. <laughs> Where does Ernie Els hail from? South Africa. How many football clubs are in the Premier and Football League? Oh. oh. 42. 44, isn't it? Who knows? A lot more there's there's a lot more than that, is I there? I know there's more in the championship. It's the entire football league. Oh, oh, football oh league. I Jesus. thought we just meant champion. Oh, oh okay. fair enough. I would so, never. Well, how many have you got there then? Is that three, three or four? Three. You got three. So yeah, I got one Mully. Yeah, it was Fitzpatrick and it was 92. 92. But either way, wow. I had to get both. So yeah, yeah, that's fine. that's fine. Next up, we have got a 492 yard par 5 SI 16, one Mulligan for me. Did you flip and strike that? I basically almost fell over, mate. Yeah, that's not gone very far, I don't think. <laughs> oh, a not a riser. great shot, but it's not bad. Mate, you're off the tee box. I think any, I mean, you're past me as well. Off yeah, the tee it's box okay. here is a big result. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> all right, uh, we've got pond all up the left-hand side of this. Yeah. Uh, so gonna try and take a very controlled club, we'll say, a seven iron. Leave myself like 140, 150 or something like that. Keep it up the right hand side. Oh, that's a little bit squirty, too much right. Hold on. Don't go over B. Okay. No, we're fine. That is not going to be a good place to have an approach in from though. It's I won't not lie. ideal. <laughs> Same thing as Tom. Nice little layup, hopefully. Uh-oh. Same thing as Tom. Not as far though. Stop. You want a ball, mate? I need a ball. <laughs> yeah, far nicer. I don't have to look at that one down, it's going to be so good. We've got about 155 in. Um, issue is, is when you get in the rough and you find like these hard, like there's hard undulations. So my ball's actually sitting in one. So I'm going to have to come in and quite steep on it. Wow. Okay, well, it's, you progressed it's advanced. It up. It's advanced. <laughs> Not very far though. Looks pretty good. Might not make the green, but I'm happy with that. Didn't want it. You almost don't want it to hit the green. Yeah. It's like it's it's like counterintuitive. All right, we've got 54 in here. God knows how this is going to come out. I think I need to play it like 
45. So this, what shot's this for you? This is a four. four so shot a, four. This is for birdie. Okay. <laughs> Let's just make it. Let's make it interesting. That is so bad. Oh, advantage chaser right now. I have the feeling that I could actually probably chip this one. It feels like, it doesn't feel as rock solid, but I am going to putt it because there's no need to make it harder for myself than it needs to be. Oh. Not as close as I would have liked it to be. It did take a bit of sting out of it on this. Realistically, I have to make this. This is a par putt. Yeah. Obviously, I've got to beat Oakley in the hole for it to actually be a point. So, we've got to give it a run, really. Ah, it was all right. It was a good try. Fair enough, mate. Let's pick them up and move on to the yep. next, my brother. Okay. Zero points. Will one of us break the duck? Honestly, I, I, I wasn't joking when I said after the first hole, second hole, you can kind of tell it's going to be a very close game because the advantage is heavily on the chaser. Okay, I'm ready for it. These have been hard. I feel like that you could last round was you could, that was the last round was easier. You so could far. yeah, you could answer my questions easily. I could answer some of yours. Man, if only I got it wrong and you when you put it out of bounds, I would have won. Yeah, exactly. Damn it. What do you receive if you win the Masters? Green jacket. Who won the 2023 Ryder Cup? Europe. Oh, come on. That's easy. <laughs> that, that, is, that is easy. I didn't get Luke Donald, so. Who was the flag Wales Golf Madrid made for? Gareth Bale. Oh my God, these three out of, oh God, I'm gonna have <laughs> I to told you, I think he'll get a few in. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to beat you straight up at this point. Who is the ex Premier League footballer that joined Ch Tubes and Ange on Golf Live? Jimmy Bullard. Easy peasy. Whoa, I love it. What a man, by the way. What a man. And where? Is the home of golf. St Andrews. Yeah, well, okay. Five right, out of five, it's, it's all square. Good luck, Okay, mate. well, this is where I now shank it off into oblivion. Next up, we have 147 yard par three in. It is the easiest on the course. That's not a good shot. Might work out. It's not a good shot. Oh my God, shut. Oh, okay, I can't complain after my nine iron. The other. It, to be fair, that's not, that's not hit the edge of a bunker. It's just hit. Hit the hard ground. And got yeah, it's something hard. <laughs> That's also a very bad tee shot, and I might be in the bunker. Oh, oh yeah, you've no, got I'm over one. one. I'm in one of them. I might get relief if the sand is frozen, though. I, okay, guys, honestly, I have no idea how I'm not in that bunker there. But um, somehow we've come out here. I'm on the what is effectively a very nicely cut fringe. It's quite a big one as well. And it's so hard, I'm actually just going to putt because I feel like I can potentially make a mistake with that. I haven't got a mully. This is a horrible putt regardless, though. It breaks. Absolute crazy amounts down to the left. Now start turning. Oh my lord. Don't go any further, just stop there. I've still got a lot of work to do to stop Oakley getting a point here. All right, so hopefully two might secure it for me here. It's very unpredictable, this. It's extreme. I actually think I might need to go a little bit more horizontally, you know. I think I need to go a little bit like that. Do you spend much time uh, putting on frozen greens? Though? Not as much as I possibly should. <laughs> I, think I, need, I think I've got my spot that I'm aiming for though anyway. Oh, that might be absolutely delightful. Ooh, okay. Still a little bit of meat on that bone. Right, let's just deny. Deny, deny, deny. I thought it was a really nice putt as well. I thought I actually I thought, I thought, it, I thought I I nailed it. I thought I absolutely nailed it. I think from inside that kind of range, it's actually not bad at all. Okay, right, so right. you can have that. That's a gimme. Right, Oakley makes it. He takes the lead with a point with not many to play, actually. Can you get that pin out, please? Yep, we've seen how difficult it is to actually get points today. So, good luck, mate. Thank you. Oh, he absolutely nailed it. One well point, played. come on, let's He's go. A point up. And we have got, what, three to play? Three to play. All right, I'm on the chopping block. Let's have an easy round, please. Yeah, I actually almost feel bad. Almost feel well, bad. Well, to be fair, my round was easy and I just bungled it. So it's all good, <laughs> mate, don't worry about it. In stroke play, what is the penalty for playing the wrong ball? Two strokes. What do the initials PGA stand for? Professional Golf Association. What nationality is golfer Vijay Singh? DJ Singh. DJ Singh. 
Things are very Indian now. I'll say Indian. I, I don't actually know. What is the name for the number of shots a golfer should take to complete a hole? The par. <laughs> Feel far less sorry. They started off very. They started off very difficult. These questions and got much, much more easy as the time has gone on. And the last one: What is a piece of turf accidentally sliced from the from the turf called? Accidentally? Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's accidentally, but a divot. Right, you've got. Got to be four, four out of five. Four. And Singh is what nation? It's Fijian. Ah, I was never going to get that. Fair enough. All right. Okay, well, so one mully. One mully. Okay, one mully. Par five, baby. Next up, we've got a 473 yard par five SI6 with a little bit of water. Oh, that is Ooh. bad. That could be in a lot of trouble. All right, I've seen it down. I don't think it's going to be what we call A1 location, but it is in A location. That's yep. towed that. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're Ooh. fine, you're alive. I think I'll be just behind a tree. Potentially, I don't think you'll have as much tree trouble as me. No, don't worry about I it. I towed the absolute hell out of that. <laughs> All right, so I'm not actually in any trouble, aside from the fact that it's in the on the really hard stuff. That should progress us up there nicely. Oh, if it stops. Oh my God, it's very firm up there. All right, so, I mean, we are in dire straits here. We've got like, so far, we're about 260 out. I've had a look on the drone, I know cheating, but there is a pond right in front of the green, so I can't be hitting like three wood or anything like that into this green. I'm never gonna, it's never gonna hold. It'll go straight out the back or it'll go in the water, one of the two. I can't pitch out because I need to actually beat Oakley in this hole. He's actually got a mulligan. There's a lot of things <laughs> working against me and I'm a point down. So I am going to go for quite a dangerous play. If it doesn't work out and I end up in the woods, I'll probably pick up and we'll move on to the next one. Um, I really have to get this at least 100 up there. So there's a gap. It's not really a gap. It's actually just scraggly tree limbs. But if I go through that gap, there is a chance that I can actually, you know, have a shot into the green that's makeable or you know, holdable. So we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna try and chip this through that gap. If it hits the tree, Oakley, I'll pick up. Oh my God, wow. As if that's worth, that's such a good shot. It might be, I don't know. If I think you the, might be in the water. I might be in the water. That might be the only issue. All right, so I brought two clubs over, one to go for it, one to just knock it up there. With these branches here, there's no chance, no chance whatsoever. So we're both here for the same. I have a mulligan, Tom doesn't, so I'm just gonna knock this back over there, have a nice-ish approach shot in, as nice as you can get in these conditions, and take it from there. Yeah, it's all you needed. Progress it down there. What well, they say, fortune favors the brave, and we have been extremely brave and very, very, very fortunate. However, we are now in what can only be described as, well, very, tough to get a club to the ball kind of area but go get lucky all right well that looks like that's the end of the hole it's just it's impossible to play out of this sort of stuff if you've got any like lump or anything behind the ball you're just not getting through it so disaster but we tried we gave it a good shot oh Ooh. jesus okay maybe i'm still in the hole should stop right. it's uh like tom said it's just so difficult. It's so hard to play these. All right, so we're dropping back here. Still not particularly nice. <laughs> Get on the green. <laughs> he kicked right off the bunk and basically to the hole and I've kicked a mile left. Okay, let's just make contact. Get it up there. Oh, that's very good, Oakley. All right, yeah. mate, I don't need to see any more. That is fantastic. I'm picking up. You've won the hole, and we're moving on to number eight. What colour shirt does Tiger Woods wear during the final Red. round of the tournament? Come on, let's go. Quite fitting for the video. What is the term for a free shot in golf? Mulligan. Ooh, Ooh I like, like it, I like, like it. it. We're taking all my mulligans at this rate. <laughs> what do golfers shout to warn others? Oh, God, three, come on. <laughs> How many? Championships does Rory McIlroy have? Oh, that's good. Thankfully, you're going to miss. How many? As in, like, so is that like how many has he won, 
Or how many does he have under his belt? I would assume one. Yeah, one. It I was think. just worded how Championships. many Championships. Is that like majors? I think that's... Uh, I think that's right. I think... I'm gonna say, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll say three. I'm going to say three. Let's just move on. I'll say three. I don't know. I'll say three. And then your last one. Which well-known golfer is nicknamed El Nino? El Nino? I'm going to say... Is that, does that mean... I'm going to say Sergio Garcia. I would have said that. That's four out of five. Okay, how many does he McElroy have? McElroy was four. Four, four. Oh, okay. So it was the majors, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So you get one mully. One mully. Next up here at the beautiful Mill Green is a par four, 348 yard SI10. Oh dear, that has gone left, left. Oh, oh no. I think we're gonna need a provisional out of you there, mate. Oh, that is absolutely piped. Wow. Those have gone left side of the fairway, but it looks good. All right, let's go. Got a little bit of a tailwind, about 150 yards. Let's see what we can do, eh? It's gone pretty high. Turn Don't back get in the bunker. Nice. Oh, did it's it hit the green? I think, I think it's, it's hit the short. green. I think it's just short of the green. Nice shot. All right, so this is my fourth shot, sadly. If that doesn't go, I'll concede it. Uh, oh! Oh wow! <laughs> hey, listen. You guys won't have seen what happened, but it rolled. Hit that was the... perfect shot. Landed perfectly on the green, guys. It landed perfectly on the green. Okay, it landed in a bunker and rolled out <laughs> <laughs> like it was a ramp. All right, um, this is just going to be a putt here. Um, I'm actually going to line it up since it's on fairway. Uphill, counteracted by the fact that the the greens are running at like glass stimp. Uh, oh my lord. Okay, wait, so what shot is this going to be? Your fourth shot? This is for par and you're putting four or five? F this is for five, yeah. Uh, so it's worth me giving it a go, really. Unless this goes very close, I'll just leave it because I can't see Tom three jabbing with a mulligan. Nope. All right, that's Tom's. All right, we go into the final one. Can I make the all-important T-flip at the start count and tie the match up because I had an extra go as the chasee? Let's see. Oakley can't even bear to watch. Here we go. Question time, baby. Which popular actor has a contract to play golf twice a week when he films movies? I'm going to say Mark Wahlberg. He's the only one I can think of. It might be Chris Pratt, but I think it's Mark Wahlberg. He's just like so intense on it. Which American golfer got his nickname, The Scientist? Bryce is a shambo. Moving on. Next one. Which brand of clothing does Jordan Spieth wear? I'm not sure actually. I'm going to say Foot Joy, weirdly. I I, I'm not sure, I really don't know. Who are the trio that makes up Bob Does Sport? Oh, uh, Fat Perez, Bobby Berger or Robert Fairways and uh, Joey Colcutt. Name a top 100 golf course in the home country, county. In the home counties. Uh, one that I've played, Sunningdale, old course. And that's, that's it, isn't it? three you got there. Three? What, what was so the other one? I didn't get Justin, the, I didn't get Jordan Spieth. You didn't. His was Under Armour. Oh, I, yeah, I was kind of thinking it was yeah. either Under Armour or like a Foot Joy or something like that. The actor is Samuel L. Jackson. Is it? Oh, I had no idea they even played golf. Fair enough. All right, let's get into the hole. Oakley has one mully. Finishing up here on a 164 yard par three. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that is right. That's not good. Could be game set match here. Ooh. In the bunker. So sad. So sad. That looks really good. I think that is the nail in the coffin right there. Sit down. As long as it doesn't. Oh, okay. I'm, gonna suck it through the I'm not going to hit another one because I don't think I can hit that much better. No, that's fine. Uh, and keep it on the green. Really need to get this close. Really need to get this close if I want any chance here. Yeah, that is going to be game, set and match, mate. I think we'll call it there. Well played. Maybe it wasn't the thing to try and splash out. Maybe it wasn't as soft as I first thought, but... Fair play. Good game. Obviously, just a load of fun here. Uh, some very fortuitous bounces on my part. I mean, Tom had one or two, but... Um, 
Ah, it's it is right. what it is. It's a good, it's a little bit of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash up a like. If you are in the Hertfordshire area, be sure to check out Mill Green because it's a beautiful course. It is really, really tough conditions at the moment. And the course is in fantastic. You wouldn't actually even know it's winter. No, it's so thank beautiful. you very much for having us down. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, smash a like. If you want to see more from us, click right here.